Hello beauties, my name is Eva and today I'm going to do makeup using Nabla Poison Garden Palette. Haha, -ha, such a surprise, not dreamy too. Wow! Poison Garden Palette, Nabla, Nabla, Poison Garden Palette, Poison Garden Palette, Nabla. Wow. I believe I used it only once on this channel, so why not to use it again? And today I'm going to do cut crease for hooded eyes again, but, 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 this time with eyeliner, duochrome, pink and blue, and with eyeliner here on this edge of this cut crease. In fact, I'm going to do again this look. Recently Instagram reminded me about this look so i just asked you if you want tutorial of this look so here i am and i'm going to do it again just why not and besides i'm going to see my progress because that look i did last year last year in january mm -hmm. of course you can use any palette that you want and any colors that you want but because classic blue is color of the year 2020 so i'm going to use blue and pink and purple <laughs> so i'm going to zoom you in and let's start with brows so let's brush these hairs in my right brow i brush them up in my left brow more down because I have asymmetrical eyes and asymmetrical brows. So one brow I draw higher and <laughs> other one lower. So I'm taking my pomade on angled brush and I'm starting from my lower edge. Of course there's always concealer so I'm not worried about any mistakes. So, we are in the middle of January, or of January, British. Anyway, <laughs> we're in the middle of January, and how's your things going? I mean, for some of us, so much happened, and it's not even end of the first month of the year. <laughs> now concealer to shape them and to remove mistakes that I did. And to correct this edge I'm using just P. Louise base because I'm going to apply it on my eyelid anyway. So now I'm going to apply this base. <sighs> All right. Time for some eyeshadows. If I remember correctly, shade canvas is absolutely too dark for me. Yes, it is. So I'm going to use different matte base shade and I'm setting my under brow area. I'm going to start with shade, hmm, with this blue one, but I have no idea how to pronounce it because in Italian that should be just Maiorelle. Simple as that. But when I hear how I should pronounce it in English. <sighs> okay, now the voice should be alright. Anyway, in English it should be Majorelle. <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea. But if you know what and from what language this word is, then tell me because Google Translator has no idea. But anyway, I'm taking this gorgeous blue shade and I'm applying it above my crease, a little bit outer corner. And I'm blending it already now and more. And more. And the lower eyelid. My whole lower eyelid. I will blend it with clean brush. 
this shade is very, very dry. And it's fading, okay. I didn't remember this feature. <laughs> Blues from this palette don't want to work exactly how I want them to work. In this case I need some help, so I'm going to use Flat Earth from Mini Controversy. I hope this shade will help me blend this blue. And I go back to this blue shade. It acts a little bit better now, but still I'm not very happy with it. I think it's great for Accent of color because it looks good on lower eyelid and I've just put finger nail in my mini controversy palette But in the shade that I didn't like anyway, so <laughs> all right, I'm not going to sit here and Work with this shade forever. So I will just use this Cancelled shade. It's a little bit different shade. So I'm going to mix this shade with this shade from from Nabla palette. Ah, much better. This shade from Nabla just doesn't want to work with me. And it leaves holes. I guess I just changed my eyeshadows game and blending since last year. So it, it doesn't work for me now. No, I'm not happy with this blending, but for now I'm going to leave it. I'm taking shade Zodiac. Please be good, please be good, please be good for me. I'm applying it in my outer corner, a little bit outer corner, lower eyelid. For now this shade seems to be okay. For now. Okay, these blues from Nabla palette is just not it and I need to apply a little bit black from my other palette just to help myself because I have pink holes so I am a little bit pissed off right now I don't say this palette is absolutely terrible but these blues are <laughs> or maybe not if you're just playing with makeup without paying attention to details like super super flawless blending etc and you see that in this makeup that I have now is everything fine. In this case, these blues are okay for you. But I see a lot of uh-uh and oopsies in this makeup. So I think I'm not going to use these blues anymore. So now I'm taking shade Craving and I am applying it. Oh wait, this should be cut crease. Uh-huh. Eva, where is your head? This should be cut crease, Jesus Christ. So now the cut crease. All right. Flat brush, concealer or base or whatever you like close to your lash line. Watch out to your lashes. And angry face looking up. There. Now connect the dots. That means inner corner with this line and fill the area. Now I'm taking shade Craving. And I was wondering why it doesn't want to stick to my eyelid. Because it wasn't sticky, you stupid! I'm applying this shade on my outer corner, a little bit in the middle. And now I'm taking shade Rosita and I'm applying it on inner part area. Of course it's going to be a little bit more blue than pink because I haven't swiped this blue area. I'm going to apply more of this craving and yes I have a lot of fallout now because this pinky shade it's already a little bit crushed in the palette. The last shade I'm going to use is Adoration. Inner corner and a little bit lower eyelid. It's time for eyeliner, but before I'm going to use anything, I'm going to clean this shit. 
I'll be right back. Alright, I cleaned up everything this way because suddenly I realized that this makeup I did using tape. Where I keep my head, not in the clouds, in space, apparently. But anyway, I can do this this way, so there's no difference if I use tape or just clean my eye this way, really. I only forgot to add a little bit of black in my outer corner. Alright, so this case I'm going to do this eyeliner absolutely different way. Because in my last year look, this eyeliner goes with this line, but now I can't do this. So I'm taking Nabla Dazzle Liner in shade Current Eden. And it has very straight tip. This kind of makeup, I don't even see this eyeliner properly. I help myself with external brush because, let's be honest, this one is not precise at all. <laughs> now the most precise stuff is to follow this line. So just edge of cut crease. And of course, because this liner is barely visible, I'm not going to see anything. I need more thick line. And I know you barely hear me, because I'm holding mirror just in front of my microphone. I'm going to end this line somewhere here. So just make sure your brush is clean and a little bit blend this line. That should be it. Now I'm going to do the same on this eye. Apply some lashes. I'm going also to add uh, on waterline. I don't know which Pencil, maybe beige one, we'll see, and I'll be right back. This isn't maybe the right choice for lashes. If you don't like apply false lashes, then you know that if even you uh, choose wrong or maybe not perfect model of lashes, if they are stick to your eyelids like a dream, you shouldn't take them off. Oh, too much. Oof. Everything is fine, everything is fine, everything is fine. Yes, I will use this blush. Because although I really like Glimmer Light Palette, today I am afraid that if I will use something that is not pure powder, I'm going to fail even more. This is me, not this 20s makeup. This is me, full sharp contouring not full moon face. I'm going to use highlighter that you probably won't get because it's from Poland only. <laughs> but anyway, this is just cool toned beige highlighter. Literally a little, little, little pinkish. And a little bit under my brow. All right, last touches. Lower lash mascara and brow gel mascara. Let's go. And for the lips this time I want to use something nude. Let's try more cool toned. Or maybe not, because cool toned is this whole makeup. Let's try more warm tone. This time I just don't want to try any other lipstick. Sorry, <laughs> no lip option number two today. 
I just have enough of this makeup. <laughs> Today's makeup is just full of oopsies, <laughs> let's say it, oopsies. Alright, this is how this makeup look like, I did it just for you, for your request. Now, in the next video I think I will use the blood sugar, why not, there was a lot of blue, so maybe let's go to warm tones and literally to red, red and red. Yeah, and I think because color of the year is uh, classic blue, so why not to do full blue makeup, full, full blue, but this is up to you, just let me know what you think of it, monochromatic blue makeup, of course I'm going to use blood sugar, but this will be not in the next video, but video after the next video. <laughs> but let me know what you think of this idea, or maybe you want to see other palettes like Jawbreaker that I should use but for unknown reason I don't use. This video is terrible. As always, I love you very very much and I see you soon probably in much more better video without fails. <laughs> Bye!